Yo, what is going on guys? It is Booty Thief Killer, as you know, and today what I have for you is a continuation of the new school thing we're doing, and what was meant to be today was the how to aim video, however, it is a really complicated video to make, I want it to be really, really good, so I'm going to postpone that until probably tomorrow, so that I can have a little bit more time just to make it, you know, perfect, because it's going to be like, godly, and it's going to be great, and you're going to love it, and it will help you improve your aim, obviously, but I don't want to spoil that too much, so I'm going to leave that till tomorrow, and today what I have for you instead is still gonna be a nuke school type thing help me get nukes and it is basically a video that I was gonna upload a little bit later but I bought it forwards so that I would have more time to make the other video and what today is is what guns to use on what maps so if that doesn't really mean anything to you right now basically the thick and thin of it is that you want to use you know for example like a CUDA on combine because it's really small confined space and it's gonna be up close battles and you want to use like an MA on a longer range map or a Shiva on a map like Havoc because the it's more long range that's the basics but i'm gonna go through each map and what you should be using on each map to get nuclears and you know hopefully help you out because obviously the whole idea of nuke school is that i make you guys better at getting nukes and you're not gonna just be playing the same map all the time so there's no point in me teaching you how to play one map and get nukes when you're only gonna get that map one in like 22 different maps so the chances of getting that map are pretty low and you know you're gonna be playing all the other maps and you probably will like to play all the other maps not just one because you know it keeps variety so there's no point in me teaching you just one I'm going to show you how to do all of them and what guns you should be, you know, looking to use. <clears throat> So first of all, we have Aquarium, obviously starting at the top of the list of maps in the game. This map, as you guys saw in my video the other day, um, with that almost 200 plus on it with the CUDA, is definitely a best map for the CUDA, because everything's really close range, and the best thing about this map and the CUDA is that it works well, especially in areas where you can't really jump very much, and it's just straight on gun battles. Uh, the VMP would also work really, really good for a map like this, and maybe even the Weevil, I'm not sure how good that is anymore, I think it got nerfed, but people have been telling me it's really good again now. Now. So just some machine guns like that that put out a lot of damage and kill really fast and that you don't have to be, you know, too good at aiming and just basically, you know, who can get the most shots off, who can fire first and it just works really well with all the, you know, short corridors. You want to be keeping them on whichever side of the map is your favorite. Just keep them on one side and then things should go pretty well. But try and stay around the middle of the map if you are going to use these weapons. The outside of the maps can be a bit sketchy if you are going to try and go for nukes and stuff. Next up, we have Breach. It's a little bit more long range of a map, but this map's definitely very versatile. You can pretty much use anything uh, out of the submachine gun, LMG, or assault rifle category, but specifically, I don't know, maybe something like a VMP uh, or an M8 would work really well. If you're going to use an M8, then try and hold down the middle area of the map, and if you're going to use one of the other weapons, then maybe travel more around the outsides of the map, and, you know, keeping the whole three-lane idea that each map has three lanes. Uh, the outside lanes of this map are going to be submachine gun based, and the center is going to be assault rifle based. So you want to be playing like that however you can switch things up obviously that's not going to be the same every time that's just going to you know that's a basic idea will help you out if you do that so whenever i play that map i prefer to take the approach of using an assault rifle towards the middle of the map head glitch that little building on top uh, or maybe even up by the ac unit uh just camp or chill around there and then you can rotate around and pretty much go wherever you want breach is a really open map it flows very well and it's good for getting nukes so definitely try this one out um next up obviously we have combat Combine is obviously very, very, very versatile. You can pretty much use any single gun in the game. A bit like Nuketown. Uh, but yeah, Combine, you can use anything. Specifically, submachine guns, obviously, as it's a bit of a smaller map. However, you can pretty much use anything if you get a good trap going. Or just anywhere you want to go. It works with assault rifles. But definitely try and stick around them. Short-range weapons, such as shotguns. Uh, maybe try using the KRM. I know that works out really well for me on this map. Or a CUDA or VMP. Usually, it's about the same guns that work out. It's more just finding out what category you want to use. So... If it's an assault rifle map, you're going to be wanting to use, you know, the Man of War, the M8, the Shiva, that kind of weapon. Uh, maybe even the KN works pretty good on combat as well. But, like, it's more just the category of weapon. Next up, we have Evac. This is obviously more of a long-range map. You can make it short-range if you play around the center. However, you're going to be want to be focused more on the outsides of the map where you can get those long-range gunfights. There's a lot of head glitches where you can, you know, catch people by surprise. If you do want to play around the middle, no problem with that. Just use something more short-range like a shotgun or um, a submachine gun. Maybe, I think, probably a CUDA or a vmp again with evac in the middle and then maybe switch things up with uh, a kn because that's middle ground range and it works as both an assault rifle and a submachine gun so this map where it just changes between both depending on where you are on the map you can use that as well which would be really really good obviously next we have fringe 
uh, fringe is you know it's quite an open map uh, it's very very long range so you want to be using something like an LMG maybe a dingo uh, or a BRM that's definitely gonna work out really really good for you or even something like a Shiva or if you want to be playing around the barn if you do have like a spawn trap going you can even use a sub however you know as a more basic idea um, and you know, assuming that you guys aren't going to be always playing in six mans going for nukes and you're going to play solo a lot, I would definitely go for more long range weapons so you can kind of hang back and keep yourself alive with, um, and maybe be using like a Dingo, a BRM, or maybe a Shiva. These all work very well on this map, and it's very long range, but the only problem is there is a lot of snipers, so you want to be a little bit careful of that and try flanking a lot, so if you do want to use something like a submachine gun, then you can obviously go ahead and do that. Now, Exodus, I haven't really played much of, so I don't know what the best weapons for this is, however... What seems to work out for me is standing on uh, either end of the spawn, so, you know, either by A or the C flag. If you stay around these areas with something like an M8, you can definitely get some nice spawn traps going and, you know, just keep that long-range engagement going. You don't want to be playing too much around the center of the map with subs because this will put you in a bit too much trouble and chances are you are going to die. But, again, this map doesn't come up often. If it does, it gets outvoted, so I really wouldn't worry about that one too much. Next up, we have Havoc. Again, a really underrated map. People don't like to play it too much. Much, um, just because you know it's just generally seen as being bad however I've been really getting into this map lately and it's working definitely very well for me as you've seen with like the double nukes and 100 pluses I've been getting on it and obviously because of that I would 100% recommend using the Shiva on this map the lines of sight and everything work absolutely perfectly for the gun it's perfect range it's very long range and you know there's just some nice spots you can get where you can just pick people off with the Shiva there's good head glitches that look into power positions that cross the map and it just works really well for a gun like the Shiva if you don't, if you aren't good with the Shiva, and you know, obviously, I haven't posted my aim video yet, which will be out tomorrow, um, so maybe try using it in M8. But once that video drops, it should give you guys an idea of how to aim a bit better, and then you should all be able to use that Shiva, and that will be definitely helping you out a lot on Havoc. Next up, we have Hunted. Again, a very, very long range map. You can make short range if you play in the building. However, spawns are going to flip a lot on this map, so you can't really guarantee that. Um, and so you want to be playing more around the long ranges of sight, you know, towards the bridge, the bridge at B, or looking in to see these are going to be your two best areas to be hanging out and you want to be using more long range weapons you can use lmgs uh this map also works really really well for snipers i found uh you know i'll find myself playing with a sniper on this map even if i'm just playing pubs trying to go for like a high amount of kills obviously though this is nuke school you want to be keeping yourself alive so sniper is not the best option i'd probably go for something like an maa7 maybe even a kn or a man of war would be better on this map because you know uh obviously if you're in trouble you're going to need to be running away again and it's places like the cave and you're going to have a lot of short range close range uh gun bows so a kn will work perfectly or you could have the long range and high damage uh you know backup of the man of war so that's really your choice on hunted uh it's very versatile map as are all the rest i think they designed the maps really well um but yeah those the man of war kn probably would be your best option next up we have infection this is a really really good map for getting uh nuclears on because you can get some nice uh you can hold spawns really easily that the spawns don't flip too much if they do flip it's really easy to get them back you just run over and they'll all be in one spot but the craziest thing about infection is they all seem to keep spawning even when you're in the spawn so you can get really quickly with really quick nuclears that way but Assuming that a lot of you guys aren't going to be the type, you know, run in the spawn and just get, get like a 20 second nuke, you want to be hanging back a little bit, maybe uh, standing in around B and then shooting into the spawn, that's going to be your best bet at getting nukes, so you want to be standing middle ground with something like a Shiva, shooting into the spawn, the Shiva definitely works really, really well when going for nukes, because, you know, you don't want to be running around enemies too much, because you can get caught off guard and there'll be too many people and you'll die, but the Shiva, you know, you can stand a bit away from the spawn, so you know where the enemies are at, you know where they're going to be coming from, and you can, you know, pick them off and get a lot of kills it also doesn't run out of bullets too quickly so this is a really good gun for this map it's really long range and you can get some nice lines of sight next up we have a map that i really really don't play very much metro i still haven't had a um 100 plus on this map i've been really really close now uh but i have had a nuclear so i can go ahead and give you the tips on this uh i would be using something like a cuda and try and be holding a spawn down on your own i wouldn't enter the middle of the map too much i'd try and play around the outskirts um 
If you want to go in the middle, that's fine. Just try and stay on the head glitches uh, by the B dom flag, which is just down in the train tracks. But you will have a little bit of a struggle when the trains come because then you'll be, you know, stuck defenseless with nowhere to go. So that is a bit of a problem. So you're better off standing on the outsides of the maps. And you could obviously just get killed by a train by accident as well as, you know, being stuck in the middle. So you're better off playing around the outside of the map, not messing around too much with the center because that's where there's going to be way too much axe and the spawns flip a ton. They're going to be coming from behind you. It's just really not a good place to go for nukes. So yeah, you want to be using something like a CUDA and running around the outside of the maps. It seems like a bad idea because of how long range the Metro is, but it actually works out really well and you guys should try that out. Next up we have Redwood, which is one of my favorite maps for getting nuclears. It works super, super good. And I would definitely suggest either a KN, as you guys saw that gameplay I got on this map with a KN the other day, or it was quite a while ago now, actually. It doesn't feel like too long, but it was a super high gun streak playing capture the flag. Um, but yeah, the KN works really good on this map because there's a lot of places where you can switch to close range like if you're jumping around the tree line on one side of the map or in that little bunker building type thing and also quite long range and the KN does both of these things it's got low recoil high fire rate and it just works really really well or you can use something like an M8 which really works well as well but you're gonna want to be standing back with an M8 and more shooting into the spawn instead of playing fast and running in like you would be with that of a KM44. So whichever playstyle you'd rather have, you know, the more guaranteed nuke and safer version where you just kind of stand back and chill, or, you know, the more hyped up adrenaline rush, run into the spawn, kill everything. So choose between the Man of War, the M8, and the KN. I'd say those are the three main assault rifles in the game. Most of the maps where you want an assault rifle, those three will work. However, some are just stronger than others, and I would say the KN's probably better on Redwood. Next up, we have Stronghold. I would definitely suggest a Man of War on this map, hands down. I've had a lot of gameplays with the Man of War on this map. It's definitely very good. Perfect lines of sight. Uh, you know, you could use an M8, but I feel like it's just too short range for an M8. And the Man of War has got that middle ground. It's got that little bit of recoil with a really high damage on it. So this definitely works. There's not too many head glitches, which is the biggest problem with the Man of War. Because it's really hard to hit people's heads when it's bouncing around. However, if you aim at the chest, you should be connecting most of your shots. And it does a lot of damage. So you're going to be doing a lot of power damage with that. And you want to be hanging around, you know, either on the stairs towards the middle of B, looking into uh, the spawn by the house, or you want to be looking down towards that C flag, which is just over the snowy hill at the other end of the map completely uh, by where that little satellite building thingy is. I'm not exactly sure what all the callouts are, because obviously I'm not a pro player, but you guys get the idea. If you play Domination, then you'll know what I mean. And yeah, you just trust me, use a Man of War on this map, it'll work out good for you. Unless you really don't want to and you just want to camp out in the house, in which case you can chill in there with like a cooter or a shotgun or something. But if you are going for nukes, that's probably not the safest way. So after you get on a bit of a streak, they're going to get the idea that you're there and they're going to come and hunt you. And that's definitely not what you want when you're trying to go on a high gun streak. Finally, we have my favorite of all the maps. We got Nuketown. And Nuketown literally is the most versatile map probably in COD history. And definitely in this Call of Duty. You can use any gun in this map, uh, pretty like you can use snipers, LMGs, pretty much anything. I've had gameplays with every type of weapon in the game, probably most of the weapons in the game as well. It just works well for everything. There's areas where it's long range because you look across the map, there's short range obviously running around the middle or in the houses or in the spawns, and everything's just absolutely crazy on this map. So pretty much, I can't give you a suggestion. Just use whatever works best for you. Uh, you know, some days I'll be feeling something like a VMP. Other days I'll want to use a Man of War. And, you know, a lot of people use dingoes, which doesn't even seem to make sense to me considering how small this map is. But that just shows how versatile it is and that you can really use anything. So, yeah, that just... I just wanted to give you guys, you know, what guns you should be using on each of the maps. Hopefully, this does help you out uh, and you'll be able to do a bit better on the normal maps now and not just be able to play one map like Nuketown um, and you can just do whatever you want. So, I hope you guys did find this uh, video interesting and useful. Obviously, the importance of using the right gun on the right map is very important. It can help your aim and it definitely helps getting nuclears because you're not going to put yourself in too many bad situations. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like if you're new, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.